Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Gade and today we'll be talking about fixed value boundary condition open form. So before watching this video, you should watch zero gradient boundary condition in CFD. So anything related to the discretization schemes here, the derivation is given in this video and I'll be directly writing the formulas uh, in this video. So fixed value, what is the fixed value? So the value of that variable is mentioned at the patch, which we will be mentioning it explicitly and it is fixed. So everything is mentioned. The boundary value is not dependent on any other internal value. So this is an explicit boundary condition and this is a type of Dirichlet boundary condition where the boundary condition is fixed. Okay, so we are denoting it by 5b. So then how to use it in open form? Uh, we'll write the patch name uh, on whatever patch we want to give this fixed value. We'll write type fixed value and we'll mention the value. Okay, everything in this curly brackets. So this is how we'll use it in open form. Next is the discretization of Laplacian term at the boundary. So I am directly writing here the Laplacian discretization. So uh, this is the center 5p which is at the nearest neighbor of this face. So 5p is the center of the nearest cell of the, this face. The face center has the value 5b and 5p and 5b are at a distance of magnitude d. On a face we are pointing out of a normal the normal is the surface area normal. Okay, so area normal vector is pointing out which is SF. So the discretization term is gamma F SF dot grade phi F. So uh, we can write this after uh, doing the dot product as gamma B because we are mentioning it on a boundary. We are doing it on a boundary. So gamma B magnitude SB and phi B minus phi P divided by magnitude d. So this has been discretized. But now according to fixed value, we already have the value of phi b. It is explicitly mentioned by the user. So we'll just have to rearrange this term. So this minus will come out. So this will be like this minus 1 upon magnitude of distance d. So this is multiplied with phi p and the other term is known which is the full term 1 upon d phi b just we are uh, uh, remove uh, we are just rearranging these terms like this okay so 5p and 5b we are separating out now there is one term multiplied with 5p and there is also one term which we already know the full term which is multiplied with 5b because 5b we have already explicitly mentioned uh, so this term will contribute to the source the phi b term, the full phi b term and what is in the multiplied with the phi p this term it will come in the coefficient matrix. So this time uh, for the discretization after discretization of this Laplacian term we see that both of them both of both the matrices are contributing. So in, these terms are contributing in both the matrices even in the coefficient matrix and even in the source matrix. So yes, and we can also we also want to know how does it how it is implemented in open form. So let us check this. Let us compare this with gamma b magnitude of S b CGI phi p plus CGB. So CGI is nothing but the gradient internal coefficients and CGB is the gradient boundary coefficients. So now both of these are same. So let us compare with phi p what is in multiplied minus one upon uh, D magnitude of D. So let us see here. Yes, gradient internal coefficient CGI is minus 1 upon D. So minus sign is there. 1 upon D means we have to write only delta coefficients because delta coefficients itself is defined as 1 upon D. So done 1 upon magnitude. So this is CGI. And what is CGB? This complete term 1 upon D phi B, 1 upon magnitude D phi B. So is it mentioned here? Yes, 
delta coefficients multiplied by star this so star this is just the value which we are going to mention it in our files for this boundary the fixed value which we have mentioned that is 5b now and it is multiplied by delta coefficients that is 1 upon the uh, distance so this is how it is implemented in open form code so this is how the laplacian term is contributing to the equations and the matrices now let us talk about the co convective term at the boundary so the final discretized equation of the convective term is ff phi f is equal to fb phi b now we again phi b is the center of this boundary phase and phi p is the nearest cell nearest the neighbor uh, the neighbor cell center that is phi p so face center is phi b and nearest cell center is phi p now the distance okay we don't care about it because this is convective term only this is going to be there at fi finally f b phi b so f b phi b phi b is already known so directly put it here and f b phi b is now known completely known there is nothing which is unknown and will go inside that coefficient matrix everything is known and that is why it will go in the source matrix so for convective term discretization the final terms will contribute to the source matrix and not the coefficient matrix let us see how it is implemented in open form code so this is the open form code now we'll compare it fb cvi 5p plus cvb this is how it is written in open form uh, it is mentioned in open form where cvi is value internal coefficients and cvb is value boundary coefficients as mentioned in the code now uh, let us compare fb 5b 5b is already known there is nothing which is a product multiplied with 5p or something product with 5p so cvi is zero here this full term is zero is it mentioned zero in the code yes say this it is mentioned zero here and cvb cvb will be 5b so whatever we are uh, writing as the boundary condition that fixed value which we are mentioning so it should be star this yes it is mentioned written star this so value boundary coefficients is star this and the value internal coefficients is nothing but zero this is how the discretization of convective term takes place and how it is contributing to the matrix and yeah so this is all about fixed value boundary condition if you like my video please subscribe to the channel and support me via paper thank you